So we have this elastic plank that is moving over a smooth horizontal plane due to a constant force F0. So on this side, let's say it's being pushed with the force F0. Now the plank is elastic. So due to the stress generated in the plank, it will compress a bit. And that's what we need to find. Find the compressive strain of the plank in the direction of acting force. So we have to find the strain in this direction and not this and this. Needless to say, the stress is going to vary over the whole bar. You can imagine that at the end of this corner, the stress is going to be minimum. And here the stress is going to be maximum. Because this force is pushing the whole bar. And here, whatever the force is on this corner, that only has to push this small section of the bar. So stress is maximum here and minimum here. So because stress is varying, if you take per unit length on this plank, the strain will also vary. So we need to find what is the overall strain. So as the stress is varying, let's see what that is at distance x. So we are going to take x from the right side. Let's take an element dx. So initially its length was dx and then it's compressed by an amount d delta l. And let's say the, the force or that the tension in this rod, not tension, actually it will be compressive force. So that at distance x is fx. So again, we are taking a dx element at a distance x and within the dx element, the compression is d delta l. So now let fx be the force at a distance x from the end and the compression in dx be d delta l. Therefore, on section dx, we can use our standard formula. So the ratio of stress and strain is Young's modulus. So stress will be fx upon cross-sectional area and strain will be d delta l upon dx. Now what will be fx? So because whatever the force is on this end that is pushing this section of the bar, which has a length of x. So fx is going to be mass of this length of bar times acceleration. So mass of this length is x by l into m times acceleration. And acceleration is same for the whole bar and that is f0 upon total mass. So A is F0 upon M. So this gives Fx as F0 X by L. So when we put that here, we get the relation. So we have the terms of X and D delta L. So we take X terms on one side, integrate X varies from 0 to L and delta L varies from 0 to delta L. So we do that and we get our strain, overall strain for the rod that comes to be F0 by 2 Ys.